Welcome back everybody to Danganronpa V3. I'm sorry that I had to take a break there. I'm actually recording this the same night of. I just had to take a small break from my voice. Hopefully it'll be a little better. Um, yeah, but we'll see. I didn't want to put this off. because I just want to get it done with and over with and see what happens here because it's been weighing on my mind. Okay. Everyone wants to start talking about Angie now, which I also think is the right thing to do. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tenko's crime scene, according to I Shuichi. It might even have something to do with Angie's murder. So Shuichi's onto something here. Now I want to see where he's going with this because um, I have a feeling I know what maybe it is, but I I could be wrong. So I want to see. Yes, the outlying piece of evidence at Tenko's murder scene. Oh shit! Do we? Oh crap! What is it? What haven't we talked about? As far as Tenko goes. Um, Iron Cage, Marker Stone. We talked about the sound, the dog statue, the sheet, the circle, the hole, floorboard, last moments, the sickle. Oh, have we talked about this? Oh my. Oh, that's this probably. I almost forgot that it existed. The Shoot, blood stain that happened. Found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. That was the weird thing about it. It was dried, which means it was there for a while. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. This is this is going to be the piece right here that throws a wrench into all of it, isn't it? Because it doesn't make any sense. Is that Tenko's blood? See, that's what we thought at first. That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. That's right, and it's old too. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. Yeah, that's true. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Unfortunately, this isn't like Ace Attorney where we can just get <laughs> blood sample analyzed. It would be so easy. We can't do it. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? I don't know. Is it Kyo's? Did he get hurt somehow under there, setting something up? That was my first thought. The blood stain under the floorboard was dry because... Uh, it was there before Tenko was killed. It was from the investigation. It happened before the seance. Maybe it happened when Kyo set things That's up. It. Or, or something else, I don't know. The blood stain wasn't from Tenko's murder. Right, well, okay. It was there before we started the seance. Right, because he probably had to set everything up. Maybe when he cut, like, the floorboards fell on him or something. Before the seance? Is that, what they're, is that where they're going? That should make it clear whose blood it was. Shut up, they're not. They're not. Oh, fuck me running. Are they saying that it's not Kyo's? Are they saying that it's Angie's? Is that the... Shuichi, is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, no. Well, he's here as well. It has to be the... That's it! Damn it! Damn it! That bloodstain wasn't Tenko's. It was Angie's. I was hoping it was wrong. I should have picked Kyo's at first because I believed in it. I guess I don't believe in much anymore. Oh no. Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tinko's murder? Oh no, if this is true, then we know what happened. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? No. Maybe, but just because no. we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. That's true, we've seen that before. Ah, I guess that's possible. Yeah. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. It sure does, doesn't it, Checkers? We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. That's right. That's what we thought. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. That's right, too. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I wonder if that's it. But did she ever leave? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. So she did go out, because people were saying that she was in there for a long, long, long time. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. Well, then why didn't you say anything? So I went to places Angie might have gone, 
and checked all three empty rooms. Is that how you got hurt then, Checkers? Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Yeah, what did she need in the empty rooms though? That I don't understand. Hmm? Am I not thinking? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. The only places I could think that Angie would go. The empty rooms? What was in them? There wasn't anything in them, was there? Did Angie have business in rooms? Was she was she trying to like maybe maybe she wanted to do her ritual in there instead? Because she was trying to perform that ritual. <laughs> It seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. Normally, I would agree with you, handsome, but now I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now, too. Well, you could be. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. I see. Kichi knows. Kyo. It's him, isn't it? Killed both of them? I just cannot. Angie left her lab on her own and she was heading to the room where she was killed. Is Kokichi's statement true or... Wait, what are we debating? Whether or not Kokichi's lying? 50-50 chance. What do we have? Effigies hung upside down, Goldie Katana, Necronomicon... It's either the effigies or the, where Angie was killed. the Necronomicon, because those are the only things she used. She was killed in the empty room instead! The empty she room left instead. her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? That's, that's the there thing. There shouldn't have been anything in there. Shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. Wait, candles? That's it! She wanted a candle! She wanted a candle? To keep herself awake at night. One second. A kid. Were there candles in the room? Do we have a picture of it? I can't freaking remember. Do we have a picture of the room itself? With the ever yeah. There is a candle in there. Is it is that it under Kurumi? Hang on. So the, the Necronomicon is also in here. Prepare an effigy of the dead soul, blah blah blah. Make it out of material as you wish. Use caution. Sprinkle the ashes. God. After preparing the effigy. Is there anything in here about a candle? Label of the deceased. Well, oh, burning the book. She might need a candle for that, but all hmm. But this also shows that she's got a candle in there, so this might also work. But it's not really talking about the room per se. It's just talking about the effigies that were in the room, so it might not relate. I'm gonna go with that. She would drip hot wax on her body. Ew, gross. That sounds like something only you would do, Mew. That's true. I agree. Can I agree with the statement? What did Kokichi see? I bet you they're gonna say that she went to go get a candle from the other room because she needed it. Something Angie did. There has to be a clue there. The art research lab. Okay. Is not where Angie was killed. I think this might be right. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own. Well. But why would she go into an empty room? Jesus. There shouldn't have been anything in there. True. That's what I thought too. Except for candles. She yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh, me is so happy. Uh, oh, break. Jesus That's Christ. It. Angie went to that room to get a candle. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the first trials ever that I'm not glad that I'm solving it. I'm like, oh, I'm kind of hoping that I'm wrong. Oh shit, this is bad. Yeah, for kinky wax play. Okay, honestly though. Uh, no. <laughs> Angie was gonna use it for the ritual. Yeah. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead... I'm assuming she was gonna use it to burn the book. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Thanks, then, tutorial did she John. seek out a candle so she could burn the book? I think that's probably what it was. She certainly didn't need it for lighting, probably. She had lights in the room. That's right. 
There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. True, true, and there were candles in every single one of those three rooms, wasn't there? I think we actually inspected them when we so were there. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. Oh dear, oh Angie. And that's when the culprit attacked her. Yeah. What'd they do? That's so they- That's why there was dried blood under So they the must have knocked her out. They must have knocked her out then, and then put her in the room? Other, if, if the knife Which stabbing, means, if the sword stabbing happened the same room the seance was held. in that seance room, there would have been a lot more blood, wouldn't there have been? So she was probably knocked out and, and then put over there. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. Oh my god. I don't, okay. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. That is true. Uh, I feel you there. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboard. It was serendipitous, wasn't it? But not in a good way. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. That's true. After the investigation, we were going to go to the other rooms, right? But then it told us we couldn't. We ran out of time, and I was like, crap. Yep. It's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. I mean, that was just... that was just fate. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. Okay. Hopefully the power of magic will shut you up for it's a little bit. Neither. I just picked one. It's true. It was just the fates. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. What's wrong, Kyo? Kyo's upset. He's angry. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Okay. Maybe? I don't know if she was killed. Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? I think she was maybe knocked out and then killed in the lab, for sure. What about that? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I do agree with him here. This is kind of like the Ryoma thing, right? Knocked out first, then killed later? I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. I think so as well. We would have seen a lot more blood if not. Hmm. You surprised that we're agreeing with you. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. I think so. That means the culprit attacked her twice. I have evidence of it. We do? We do. Um. Oh! The injury on the victim's forehead was not bleeding as much as it- Look at these two together. No- Yo! This is it! Conked her over the head. The fatal wound put the was tape over the- back the back of her neck from a katana. Put the tape over it so she wouldn't bleed everywhere. Shut up, is that it? Is that what it happened? But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma. Yeah. And I think I know why. She was knocked out. Oh After my god. She was knocked unconscious in the empty room. She was killed in her lap. Oh no. Okay. I see. So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow. Okay. Ha! It's all clear now. Is it all clear though? Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab. Right. And it was there that the culprit finished her off. Okay. Kyo, was it you, though? All clear. This is all clear. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you all talking about? Oh, no, 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 it's him. It's him. It has to be. All clear? What is all clear? You're right, darling. You don't lose it now. What is... What are you all clear oh oh my goodness me okay i mean they've all done the same thing right at the end when they've gotten when it's obvious who it is so i guess i expected it i mean remember kurumi hers was really bad what are oh you dear all, you you what 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 are, what's happening i will not you? fear whoa, i will whoa. not back down what the hell who was that Sweet Korekio, calm yourself. What the hell? What is this? Voice changed. Kyo, you're not a lady, right? <laughs> I 
I can't tell if it's just like the, a face or it maybe he's just wearing lipstick. That could be a thing too. That could be why his mouth was covered. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. What's happening right now? Talking in a different person. Does he have multiple person? <gasps> is that supposed to be his sister? What? You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Kyo, are you serious? Y yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. He has multiple personalities. I I guess. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies. Wait, did anyone actually see his mask come off just now, or was that just like a a manifestation for us? Not yet. Nothing is clear at all. Okay, I'm thoroughly confused, but I think I might be onto something there. Kyo. It's full of doubts, of mysteries. Oh dear. Of a dense, impenetrable fog. Oh my goodness me! Why? Why has this happened? Why has it come to this? Nothing is clear at all. I'm heartbroken. I'm like ready to cry. What's happening? Hello? Oh, okay. Rebuttal showdown. What do we have? Monokuma duct tape. Oh, it's probably the duct tape. Angie was talking about her in the head. empty room first. So let's see. Had been carried into the research lab. Yeah. Impossible. Impossible. Oh, That's dear. nothing but a delusion. I'm waiting because I want to hear this. With your delusions? So I'm sorry if I do a bad job. But it's it, no delusion. If you cut them too Angie's quick, you can't hear it. wounds tell the story. That's right. After she was struck in the empty room, yeah. she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. Shuichi already knows. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? Because of the tape. The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Right. Even if you wipe them down later, yeah. there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But I know. there was no evidence anywhere, was oh. there, Shuichi? It's right there. Your words. There's no evidence. Oh, no break. Bad break. There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. Perhaps he left that there by accident. What? Maybe he didn't know that it was there. Oh, no. It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while, while she, she was, was being, being carried. carried. Right, like I said. Holy shit. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. I think everybody probably didn't notice that part. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. Maybe they thought they got rid of it all and missed some. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. Right. There's always that one thing, right? There's always that one piece. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt and ended up under her body. I see. It must have been Atua who did that for us. I mean, if that's what you want to believe. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Ugh. Now we know most of the mystery behind Andy's murder. We do, we do. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. Oh my goodness me. There's only one person who could have killed Angie. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. It has to be you. Oh my god. Why? It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Darling, why did you do it? What the fuck? So it's true. Did you really want to get out that bad? Well, I can understand, like, maybe wanting to get out, but why would you kill two people? You'd be more likely to get, like, found out if so. If you just wanted to escape and that was your motive, then why kill two people? Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. I'm gonna be honest, I am a little surprised at how obvious they made it immediately. I just didn't want to see it because I thought it was too obvious, so I... I just kind of... Also, my thirst, let's be honest, I kind of just pushed it aside. 
killed both of them. Why both of them, Kyo? It doesn't make any sense. Why? Why did you kill them? What is the reason? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. That's what I'm saying. What the hell happened here? Why? Why you kill them both? Oh my gosh. I think one of the murders was an accident. What do you mean? Both of them were so intricately set up. How could they have been an accident? An accident? I don't get it. That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? Which one? Which one? It couldn't... It couldn't have been Tenko's. The murder that was an accident... I bet you it was Angie's. That would make sense. Tenko's was way, way too set up. Angie's was set up. But kind... But not at all. You know, I, I feel so stupid now. Think back, guys. Think back. All the effigies were hung with ropes. Who loves ropes more than Kyo and knows how to tie them quickly? God, I'm so dumb. I think Angie's was the accident. It must be. That's it. Oh my goodness. Angie's murder was an accident. I see. He had to do he had to do something quickly to make it look like it wasn't. What? Tenko wasn't accident? But why Tenko? I don't understand. That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. Oh, don't bring that shit up again. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. Oh, of course. Okay. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. But did she really see anything? Or was she was just going to get a candle? Was it really that obvious? She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Oh dear. Then he should have just stopped there. That's true. What was the motive then? Why did he go through with the second one if one was already committed? Once he killed Angie, there was no reason for him to kill Tinko. I agree with this. It makes no sense. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. Surely it's not because he's like underneath it all a, a criminal killer or something. He if you get be. bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. That's right. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? Why? What is... What on earth are you talking about? What do you mean, Kyo? What's wrong? No. I'm not the culprit. Are you not? So, so why is everyone looking at me like I am? Well, then explain yourself. What the hell's happening? Why? Why are they? What? Why is it? He's absolutely lost it. Kyo. Calm yourself, Korekio. Oh my god. There she is again. Or there he is again. I can't tell what's happening here. Y yes. It's got to be multiple personalities. It has to be. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. Is it the personality of his sister? He lo it says that he loved her like no other. And she passed away, didn't she? Did he like take on her personality with his? I could, I guess you could see that happening, right? You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. I don't care if he's wearing lipstick or if he's a woman. I'm still, I still love him to death. Still love, I'm still heartbroken. Look at their horrid faces. This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. So wait, can they see him right now? I'm assuming yes. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Because the mask changes so quickly. It's hard to tell if he's like pushing it back up or not. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tell if like we're just seeing that manifestation of the face or if, if they can see it as well. It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Yeah, yeah. Someone? He's just talking Oh, to never himself. mind. There's my answer. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? Don't worry about who's wearing lipstick. Anybody can wear lipstick if they want to. That's not the problem here. <laughs> no matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. What do you mean, darling? I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. Well, that's happened before. I guess I expected it. But you see... There is no evidence that I killed Angie. There's no evidence. 
No. I will not acknowledge it. What do we have to prove that we're that he's wrong? I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I won't acknowledge fiction, mystery. Right? I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. He wants irrefutable proof and evidence. Well said. Good <gasps> job, Correcchio. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, damn it. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! I don't know, I figured you'd be into that. No evidence. There's no evidence he killed Angie? You're wrong. There is evidence. Is there? What haven't we used? What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes. Okay. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious. Right! The sword stabbed her, but he couldn't have knocked her out with the blade or the hilt of it. She would have had gold all over her head. What did he use? What else was there? A weapon? That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. What do we have that we haven't used yet? <laughs> oh my, I can't see him like this. It's difficult. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. It's gotta be his sister, it has to be. Apologize. Come on, apologize. Oh my goodness me. Apologize, apologize, apologize. <sighs> he's, he's been through some shit. Holy crap. Come on, apologize, 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 apologize. This is, this is some shit right here. Seriously, what the hell's happening? I don't even know. I think his he's just his mental capacity is just broken a little. I have no idea what's happening with Keo. But I know what weapon he used on Angie. I have to prove it to him. How? Oh armament. Oh here we go. I have nothing to admit. <gasps> look at look at Keo! You're simply wrong. It's so beautiful! Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing Oops. to confess. I always miss the holds. I have nothing to admit. Oh my gosh, he looks so cool. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. Nothing? You are simply <laughs> Oh. Why must you force your delusions Sorry, on? Sorry, this is always so long. Your love? That's merely a delusion. Ed Correcchio, to continue this debate is meaningless. Oh, he's talking with Why her as well. Your delusions on us. Your logic. That's merely a delusion. Well said, Correcchio. Oops. To continue this debate is meaningless. <gasps> oh my goodness me. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Oh. Such a sorry lot. This is hard to deal with. There's Apologize. two people talking and Apologize. this happening. I'm sorry Apologize. that I haven't said anything. Apologize. 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 I'm I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. Oh God. Apologize. 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 I told you I am not the I would culprit. love to apologize. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. 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 Oh dear. Apologize. Kyo. You have no proof that uh, Correcchio is the killer. Moved floor. Uh, Whoops. I oh, remove floor, Lord. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't even see the so re. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, look at him. You're oh my all gosh. wrong. Not me. Correcchio speaks the truth. Oops. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. Apologize. Okay, I got it this time. I think. You have no re proof that Correcchio is the floorboard. The floorboard. It ends here. Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh my goodness. Break. I, my heart is Keo racing. With the same floorboard used in the seesaw Oh trick. my fucking god! Of course. <laughs> I, I can't handle this. 
I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? Oh my god. There was a small the, patch it of had blood, blood on, on it. the underside of the floorboard. We totally just... We totally just forgot about it. Well, I totally just forgot about it, too. Oh, shit. Oh, blood? Oh my god. Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. Oh my goodness me. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there. Yep. The floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. That's why there is no Yeah, there was nothing on top. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. That's true. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, how? Keo. If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick. It means the culprit knew about the seesaw. So the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. Uh. <sighs> If I'm quiet through a lot of this part now, I'm very sorry. This is harrowing. This is like really, really upsetting for me. Oh no. I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board. Right. When Angie walked in. Right. And a cold copter with a floorboard. All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Yeah, because he thought he would get off the hook. That's true. This is the truth. It is, I think. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Looks like we're almost at the end. I don't like seeing him like that. I know he did something terrible. It's hard when you when you really like somebody. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Oh, Kyo, I'm so upset. House. I'm so disappointed and upset. Angie, please put an end to this. We will. For Angie and Tenko's sake. I have to. End this class trial. I will. Tenko and Angie didn't deserve it. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Okay, is it closing argument time? Kyo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. Right. All right, closing argument. If I don't talk during this, I'm sorry. I need to concentrate. Who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? Uh, what do we have? We have Pat. Well, let's start from the top. Hit the sliding lock. The small stone Himiko brought. Remove the gold leaf katana. Move floorboard. Path made with salt. Duct tape. What was this last one? Sickle place to kill. Okay, we don't have it yet. What weapon knocked Angie unconscious? The removed floorboard. That must be it right there. Yep. Okay. Um. What was compressing the injury on Angie's head while she was carried? That would be duct tape, but I don't think we have that yet. No. Okay. Next one. What weapon killed Angie? Uh, what weapon killed Angie? The the katana. It says removed the gold leaf katana. Is that the right one? No, I guess it is. Okay. Uh, okay. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Kaede. But we don't have that. God, you have to get like a lot of right answers for any of these to come out. Okay, the handle of the spinning katana. Oh, hit the sliding lock. It did, right? Yes, we worked that out. God, this one is so much easier than the previous ones because it just gives you the words right there. When Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Uh, Kokichi, but I don't think we have that yet either. What object did Tenko rest her forehead on during the seance? The small stone? All right, oh my god, this one really got to do everything. What well what weapon did the culprit set up on the iron cage? Uh oh, oh, on the iron cage, the sickle. Cuz the dog statue's already on top. Okay. Two more answers. Who besides Kokichi was responsible for extinguishing the candles? 
Uh, who was it? I think it was Shuichi, was it? Uh, well, we don't have it anyway. How was the culprit able to move around in the darkness during the seance? The salt. Okay. And then, when the culprit approached the cage... Uh... Hmm. I must be missing one, no? How did the magic circle get erased? Where are we missing one? Oh, what was compressing the injury on Angie's head? Don't we have duct tape? We do. That's what we're missing. Okay. Let's unlock them all quickly. This is the first one that made you wait till the end to do it. All right, let's go back to the start because we have one right here. Who was the culprit with the saw in the empty room? With the saw in the empty room. Uh. Cut cross. Oh, who was the culprit with? What? Is it this? That that sentence didn't make any sense to me for some reason. Okay, well, never mind that. Whose effigy was stabbed with the katana? Kaede. Okay. Uh, when Angie's body was found, who unlocked the door? Kokichi. Okay. Almost there. Who besides Kokichi was responsible for distinguishing? I think it's Shuichi. I think we do actually have Shuichi here. Do we? Yeah. Okay. And then... When the culprit approached the cage... Uh, what do we have? Oh, stomp hard on the floorboard. Yeah, when he approached the cage, he stomped on the floorboard, and this is the last one. Footsteps contaminating the scene. We've done it. This is the truth of We've the case! It. Ugh. Right. Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. Right. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. Right. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. Mm-hmm. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. Okay. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. True. Okay. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. Right. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. Okay. This, this is so... I can't believe how thought out this is. I know I said that about the last one, However, but this one takes the cake. the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Oh dear, Angie. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. Oh dear. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. Right. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Right. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some that's kind of murder plan. That's what I'm thinking. He could have just been like, oh, I'm just cutting the floor because I want to do a seance later. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw that's trick. That's true. He couldn't have gone through with it because Angie would have known right away. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. And I guess not. Of course not. Oh dear. The culprit Ugh. took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. Poor Angie. Right, it dripped under. That's how we found the it. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. Yep. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. Right, right. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. 
Oh dear. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. Right. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Yeah. Without yep. that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick. That's true, that's true. Carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Locked the front door from inside. Yep. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. Oh, dear me. Stabbed her. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Oh, at least she was unconscious. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. The ropes! The ropes, First, you guys! they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. It makes sense. Oh! I hate that it makes sense. There were sense. two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. Yep. And the other was the key to locking the room. That's ingenious. That's crazy. Who would have thought? The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. Yep. And spun, spun the it effigy around. around to twist up the rope. Oh, Lord. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. You would have have to have been so precise for this to work. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. Ugh. Just how? The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. Yep. A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. That is true. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Yeah. If it didn't work, could it just Once come back complete, in? Once complete, the door was locked. But the duct tape was left behind. Yeah, underneath her. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room <sighs> was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. I wonder if he was banking on nobody being able to open that room. Must have been. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. I don't get it. Why, though? To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Why? Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, look at Tenko. Tenko. volunteered to be the medium. She's so but cute. But she never imagined it would get her killed. Ugh. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. But was Ten was Tenko targeted, or, or was it just either of them? Tenko had brought from the courtyard. That's what I don't understand. Was he just trying to kill one of these girls, or any of us? Well, it had to be the girls, but yeah. Oh, Tenko, Tenko bless. At the culprit's request bowed her head until it was touching the stone. Right. Probably not even a part of the ritual, probably to set up the murder. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Oh my god. It was. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cake. We didn't realize oh, it at sorry. the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. I don't know why that happened so quickly. They My needed goodness. to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tanko. This is still crazy. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, 
they secretly placed the sickle. Right. I feel like it would be so wobbly at this point. Once you put the statue on, no. Finally, but four of us placed the wooden statue on top of the cage. Unless you placed it perfectly, the handle is round. Wouldn't it have wobbled a little? Maybe I'm overthinking this thing. It's dang and rompa. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. I guess so. I guess it worked somehow. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. Right. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the cage child song. Now I realize why they had to sing the song too, to make sure they couldn't hear him creeping up. It, it all makes sense now. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. Yep. But our culprit had another plan, to commit a murder in the darkness. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. Right, right. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. Yep. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. Oh, boy. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. Yep. Stomped then on Then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. Man. Oh my the goodness. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Awful. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. Two women stabbed in the back of the neck. She was killed right before our eyes, and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner finished the ritual and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. Right. And discovered Tenko's body. He made them do that too. He made them do it in the reverse order because it would take longer and he would be sure that she was dead by then. I mean, how no one would have heard While that. While we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle. Yep. And dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. I guess there would have been enough commotion that maybe you wouldn't have heard it. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. Yeah. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. Oh my god. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. Yeah, yeah, Kibo's the best. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Kurekyo Shinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. No. Why did you do it? Complete. Time to cry. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. How could you have done this? <laughs> Sweet Korekio, there were times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Oh my, please tell me they're gonna explain this. Uh, admit? Oh my, I can't see him like this. Yeah, okay. Jeez. I need to know the reason. So you, 
finally admit you did it. Unfortunately. Yes. Really? Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. You're fucking telling me. What are you talking about? My one regret. My only regret. Yes? Was not being able to make 100 friends. What are you talking about? 100 friends? 100 friends? What does that mean? <laughs> like on Instagram. It was my dream to make 100 friends. 100 likes on Facebook. What are you talking about? Oh, it's so unfortunate. I was so close to 100. What? W what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Same. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already! No, 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 no. I need to know. I need to know what's going on Roger here. That. One voting time! Coming oh, up. they better explain it. The heart racing excitement as Oh boy. No? Nothing. The heart racing excitement! Has the black end in the spotless finally face off? It's voting time! Okay. What's wrong? Oh, he's mad. Seems they ignored him. Voting time. Ugh. I'm I'm sick. I'm sick of all this. Losing Tenko and you. Because you've I don't you've gone off the deep end or something. This is just like Mondo. And she hero. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Okay. I'm assuming we're all unanimous. Results. Huh. Wait a minute now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he didn't vote. I was like, wait, is that enough votes? He didn't vote for himself or anybody else. He just didn't. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? I, this whole thing is dreadfully wrong now. Christ all. I'm- <laughs> I'm speechless. Like, seriously. <laughs> I'm so upset. How did I do? I- I had some bunk-ups in this one big time, but hopefully it's okay. Oh, I got an A still. Alright. I'll take it. But I don't want to take it. Alright, you have a lot of explaining to do. Uh, wow, seriously? You're correct again! Amazing! This is the third correct verdict in a row. Alright! If you manage to get 12 correct verdicts in a row, you'll proceed to the bonus round. Hey! How's this gonna last that long? No, nothing. Oh, he's gonna. One of them is gonna die too, probably. For now. It's finally over. No. Not yet. I haven't heard his answer yet. Kyo, why? Why did you kill Angie and Tenko? Right! Yeah, he no need to kill them both. No matter what motive he have. Oh? Motive? I need to know what's going on in your head. You've got to tell me. Please. Hey! Did your motive have something to do with the transfer student who was resurrected? Even if it did, though, how did that trigger a murder? Hey, hey! Uh, don't tell me. Were you actually scared of the resurrection ritual, Kaito? Shut up! Shut up! I never said I was scared. <laughs> the resurrection ritual had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? I... Because we're friends. I'll tell you. I never once believed in the ritual. You didn't? I would never kill someone over such a silly thing as that. Then why did you? What? So it has nothing to do with the motive? Yeah. Then why? Yes. For the one that I love. Who are you talking about, Kyo? 
There is someone that I love. Is there? From the bottom of my heart, someone so dear. Someone I long for. Your sister. Is that how you're talking about? But she's not here. Whoa. I love her with all my heart. And she loves me with all her heart. I see. This is implying that maybe their love spans beyond a brother and sister. Okay. I'm assuming that's what we're going with here. Okay. Yes. We vowed an endless love to each other. Forever bound by fate. I see. None can come between us. We are bound by an intense love. Right. No matter what anyone says. Keo, holy shit. Okay. What? Bragging about your perfect love life? Fuck you. Some of us ain't that lucky. <laughs> so to see this lover of yours, you had to escape. That's got to be a sister, right? Though they don't—they're not piecing it together. Or is it—is it somebody else? Don't tell me. That's why you killed Enji and Tenko. Why did you need to kill both? <laughs> if you asked if I did it to escape this place, my answer would be no. Okay. Wonderful. Because I have no need to escape. The one I love is inside. Inside? Wait! Don't look at me. I'm not his lover. Yeah. Calm down. No one wants disgusting shit stuff bitch like you anyway. Curse Blue! What the f- What? Hey! Who is it? Who's this person you love? Hey. Is it really one of us? <laughs> when I say inside, I do not mean inside this academy. You see? I mean, inside me. Sister. I knew it. The one I love lives inside me. My dearest sister. Huh? Sister? Wait! Don't look at me, I'm not a sister! Right? Duh, if you were a sister, he would have killed himself already. Wait, you're a sister, but didn't you say she was your lover? Whatever is the matter. It's not that difficult. My sister is my lover. Well, it does happen in a lot of manga. I'll tell you that much. I mean, okay. Didn't expect that, but here we are. Whoa, okay. I loved her so deeply. Well. And she loved me so deeply. Yeah, well, I'm a bad person. All right, I'd still hit it. Fine, whatever. It happens. Eyeliner's still on fleek. Dude's hot. <laughs> Dude's Bad shit insane. But the fact that we were siblings meant nothing to us. I guess that happened some like I said, I've read some manga. They called it forbidden love. But none could stop the love we shared. Oh, I bet when she passed away he kinda just went off the deep end, eh? Oh. How I long for my sister's warmth. <sighs> well, I don't know if this is a solace to you, but you're probably gonna meet her very soon. The only time I felt at peace was when I was enveloped in my sister's warmth. Boy, where were your parents during all this? For my beloved sister. I had to... Always messing around. You had to escape? No. No. I had to kill for her. What do you mean? Huh? What? Sister. Was sister was very sickly. Right, you were telling us about that earlier, when we got to know you. She was always in and out of the hospital ever since she was a child. Because of that, she didn't have many friends. She always seemed so lonely. Oh, you can easily see how this might have occurred. However... Even if I could be her little brother and her lover, I couldn't be her friend. Why not? Couldn't you have been her friend instead of that other thing? So I thought I'd find her some friends. Friends for my dear deceased sister. Oh my goodness. I see. Kyo. Huh? Deceased? Do you understand? My sister is now a ghost. Her friend should be ghost too, right? Holy crap. For my beloved sister. For sister's sake, I've killed many. To send her 100 friends. He's a serial killer. A bit like Jack. In a way, <laughs> they were all wonderful people. Worthy of being sister's friends. Huh? 
What? Incomprehensible. This is too impossible to understand. Too impossible. Sister. Sister is very happy. Yes. So yeah, he's emulating his his sister. He's taken on her personality along with his. Yes, Karkio. I am very happy. Thanks to you, I am not lonely. He felt he had... He felt he had a job to do. And it's not right or anything. It's awful. But he did it for her. What? Could... It be that the lipstick version of Kyo is... I am Karekio's older sister. Thank you for looking after my little brother. Oh my god. What? What the hell? Yes. After I lost my beloved sister, I was so distraught. I nearly went mad. I think you did go mad, my dear. I think you did. But sister came to save me. I am pleased. She visited me during one of my seances and stayed inside me. I see. That's why he's so interested in that kind of thing. Might be the only way he can speak to her, at least before this. Sister. Now I can see her whenever I want. I'm never lonely. Kyo. I can't forgive him for what he did to Tenko and Angie, but... Maybe it's my thirst and maybe not, but this is so heartbreaking. Correcio. At the same time, he's a broken person. That's wonderful, Karakio. Your love made the impossible possible. Are you serious? Are you serious? Is it really a spirit? I told you. He's delusional. <laughs> what a sad girl who can't even believe in the power of love. Omaki. Ew. Either way, he's totally out of his mind. I mean, he killed for a dead chick. Well, you know. You said you killed a lot already, right? It wasn't just the two you killed here. What was that? What? <laughs> this seems like he was already crazy before he got here. Because? You didn't kill to escape. That wasn't your purpose from the get-go. <laughs> you just wanted to slaughter a bunch, huh? I guess. Unacceptable. Do not make me out to be some bloodthirsty, indiscriminate killer. Did he say that he had standards? He said wonderful people, but I don't know what that means. I only kill girls who I think are worthy of being sister's friend. Is that why you isolated Tenko? Tenko was a good girl. Huh? I mean, she had flaws, we all do, but she was a good girl. She was, she tried to be kind and do the right thing, mostly. Only girls? I see. So we were deciding on who should be the medium. Before that, let's choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. I thought that was because they were summoning a girl. Well, we were all fooled. You said it would work best with a girl. I... I spent my time evaluating all the girls here. Wonderful. Besides Maki and Miyu, they were all worthy. All worthy of being sister's friends. Yeah. All worthy? Why, you? Hey, how come I'm not fucking included? I mean, like, not like I care. Then... Probably because she's too vulgar. Then the second victim could have been me. Uh, Tenko died in place of me. I think either of them would have been fine. I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. Oh, that was Himiko, excuse me. No, I'll do it. Excellent. Himiko would have been great, but Tenko volunteering made me so happy. Her noble earnest heart made her a perfect friend for sister. Oh, Kyo. How could you have done this? Wonderful. She even infiltrated the student council to protect Himiko. Huh? Infiltrate? Really? But... How did you... <laughs> it was obvious to me I have studied many people. That was why he was so aloof this entire time. We might not have even realized this unless we... Because we got to know him, right? But if we hadn't done and hadn't done his free time events, he was really in the, in the, the shadows and on the sidelines for most of this game from now. He was just observing. That's what he does. Ah... Uh. Can this be? She stood up against the darkness of the school all by herself. All for her beloved friend. Beautiful. I was so touched by that. Wonderful. She was a perfect friend for sister. Remember how beautiful he was saying Kurumi was earlier? She would have been a target as well, I bet, if this hadn't happened beforehand. <laughs> I can't understand why you didn't like her, Himiko. Oh, boy. 
Oh no. Well. Though, I was planning on having you become sister's friend too. Eventually. No way! What? You do all that for- mm. Wow, you did all that just to kill. For you to go that far, it's pretty impressive. Well, no. You were interested in the caged child just so you could use it to kill someone, right? Let's see. It interested me as an anthropologist, of course, but more than that. For my beloved sister! I wanted to kill for sister. I cannot deny that overpowering feeling. What the hell? Are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? You look kind of pale. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Let's focus on Kyo right now. Mm. Allow me to explain. I did not plan to kill both of them. I knew I would have plenty of chances after escaping this place. However... But Angie walked in on me preparing and I ended up killing her in a different way. I figured I may as well kill someone else too. <laughs> after all, it would be a shame just to waste the seance trick I prepared. So cold and calculated, Kyo, about that? What is that? You're talking like you killed her just because you could. Mm. No, not because I could. I was sending another friend to sister. Correct, Kyo. You're such a thoughtful little brother. But it was bad to get greedy. Oh, dear. You're right. Because of that, now I can't send a hundred friends to sister. <laughs> Do you understand now? Those were the circumstances of Korakio's crime. I, I do not understand. This is all too impossible for me to understand. Why? That right. Killing two friends for your own dead sister. But how? That wrong. That's so wrong. <laughs> Don't get so worked up. There's something I learned after sister's death. Do not worry. Death only changes a person's form. That soul lives on as a ghost. That's right. Even though I'm a ghost now, I am always by Kurakira's side. Sister. Thank you, sister. I love you. <sighs> Cut it out already. What was that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Nothing's making sense. It's not fair. Why did Angie and Tenko have to die for something so unfair? Well... Because death is unfair. <sighs> and another All thing. deaths are unfair deaths. Why do you think the news stations get such high ratings when they're reporting about death? Wow, that's really topical right now, actually. That's that's hard. <laughs> because everyone likes unfair deaths. Maybe. Well, if you look at it like that, this whole killing game embodies that philosophy, right? Gifted high school students forced to play a killing game. <laughs> if people were watching this, they'd get a kick out of it. They are, aren't they? That's been like one of the things in some of the other games. If people were watching this? Shut up! Knock off the bullshit! Like, only sick fucks would enjoy watching this. You got me! Hell yeah! If I wasn't in this killing game, I'd have so much fun watching. Boy, nobody was surprised by that so statement, damn. I'm sure. <sighs> the nature of this killing game is yet shrouded in mystery. <laughs> but my role in it is over. I have finished my explanation to you, friends. Sister. I think I shall go and see her now. My beloved sister. Sister. Is that... I want to say maybe that's how he was able to do this so easily because I because I want to love him That if he fucked up even if he got killed he would still go see her so There wasn't anything to lose I'm trying to humanize this and I can't and I am heartbroken over this I Was unable to send her a hundred friends, but at least I can see her again now Correcio. It's all right, sweet Carcio. Come to me. Oh. Uh, it looks like you're already prepared, so let's get started. It's punishment time! Why do I know something bad's gonna happen? Sister. Is Monokuma really gonna let him go see her? It's almost like the worst thing to do now would be to let him live. My beloved sister, at long last I'll finally get to see you again. That's right. Yes, from now on no one will try to stop us. We can be together. Without having to hide our love from others. What? I can't accept this. Therefore. Like I said, there's no such thing as a death that can be accepted. From an anthropological point Why do you think so many different cultures have funeral rites? Why do you think rumors of ways to resurrect the dead never cease? Yes. The living must find a reason, however forced, to accept death when it happens. How you come to terms with death also determines how you live. Yet. Jesus! This is... Jesus Christ! What was that? That was actually really profound. I... That was the answer I reached. How about you? 
How will you live a life that faces death? Now then, I prepared I a, oh. a very Excuse special me. punishment. For the ultimate anthropologist, Karakyo Shinguji. I shall observe. I shall watch over all of you as a ghost. As your friend, I will watch over you. That's right. It won't be just me and Karakyo. All those who died will be watching. <laughs> I almost hope that's true, but... But this is... I'll be watching to see how you face the death of your friends. Humanity is beautiful. I'll be watching forever and ever. It's punishment time! I'm... I'm gutted and speechless and, and ashamed and disappointed in everything that comes with this. What's gonna happen to him? Something, something real bad. Because he wants death now. What's even gonna... What did that say? Oh. Cultural melting pot. I see. Oh, Kyo. Oh my goodness me. Poor baby. Oh. Oh, he's fallen. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. What? Did he just kill himself? Oh, my goodness me. There's his spirit. There, it's... Oh, Kyo. This is sad. It's gonna stop him, I know it. He's gonna exercise him so he can't. I knew it. Oh my goodness me. He expunged his spirit so he couldn't go to his sister after all. Of course. Hmm? What? How gory! Monotune! Why? <laughs> yeah, why did that happen? How what the? Be? To think my cute child would commit suicide! Yay! Well, it's so cute! It's so freaking cute that he would kill himself because he couldn't get along! <laughs> <laughs> Monotune committed suicide! Had I known this would happen, I would have been nicer to him! The only reason Monadam was obsessed over getting along was because everyone but me bullied him. You ignored him in the last trial, though. That's right! Yes, the other Mana Cubs drove him to suicide, but not me. Hey. Uh, who's Monadam? Eh? You already forgot? That's kind of scary. <sighs> well, now. Uh, looks like another class trial is wrapped up without incident, so... I'm gonna take it back this year, Necronomicon. <laughs> Seems like a waste. You guys sure you don't want it? <laughs> you guys should have brought someone back to life and add them to your roster. Shut up. How long are you gonna keep talking about that? I told you. Ignore him. The whole resurrection ritual is obviously a lie. He's trying to shake us mentally to get us to panic. What's the point? I'm assuming you'll do another murder if you... Oh, shoot. I'm assuming you think another murder will happen if you do that, right? <laughs> Who can say? What a waste. If none of you were gonna use it, you should have let me have it. Then I could have resurrected one of my dead siblings. Um... Which one? Eh? I don't know. They were all pretty terrible, actually. Mm. Wait, did one of us die? I could have sworn it's just been the two of us this whole time. Oh, yeah! Uh, it's too bad you missed your chance to raise the dead. That's what you get for doubting me! <laughs> <laughs> too bad! Shut up! So long! Farewell! Alvita uh, Zen, um... goodbye? Even now, he still talks about raising the dead. Always messing around. This is stupid. What people believe in is up to them, but... Living people shouldn't have to suffer because of the dead. Of course! The living are more precious than the dead no matter what. <sighs> That's not something a coward like you should say. <laughs> Shut up. Leave me alone. But... But there's one thing this case taught me. I thought there was a god watching over us, but... 
There isn't, after all. Not in this academy. Mm. You're right. You're right. Well, that's why we have to work together, right? Face it together. Our ultimate talents are the best weapons we have. Gonta do his best. And Gonta do his best to keep everyone safe. Gonta want to protect everyone. Mm. But your talent is entomology. <sighs> I don't want Shuichi to use his ultimate talent anymore. I'm getting sick of class trials. You're right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> your talent as an assassin is way more trouble. When are you gonna use that, huh? Maki, just punch him. Okay. I'll work hard until everyone trusts my ultimate talent. Mm hmm? Huh? That's right. It may not be possible now, but I'll put in the effort so everyone can trust me. I won't run away anymore. I want to survive and escape this place without. Damn it, something's gonna happen to her. I can't handle this. <laughs> I wonder how long that'll last. What if your true calling is a killer shows? <laughs> don't underestimate her. Maki rolls one of my sidekicks. Got a minute? I don't remember being your sidekick. Didn't I tell you to stop calling me Maki Roll? Oh. oh, you guys are so close now. This must be the powerful bond of friendship. But I would have preferred it to happen sooner, especially not after losing seven people. <laughs> You're right. Only nine people left now. <laughs> what do you know? The dumbass can do basic math. That's right, seven pieces of shit have been flushed away, and only nine remain. Actually... By that calculation, doesn't that make you one of the pieces? But... Just nine of us. Well, you know... Humans are like weeds, too numerous to count. Seven of us dead doesn't mean much in the end. Shit. That's totally what the heartless robot is thinking, right? Right? How rude! I am not thinking that! Your blatant robophobia is simply inexcusable! But you know... Hey. None of us gave up, right? I know we're all gonna escape. I'm not gonna rely on a god, spirits, or the dead. I believe in you. Just you guys. I believe in all of you. Okay. Kaito. Well, of course. You're right. Those of us who remain can start over. Hey, hey. Hold up. Keyboy needs to apologize for everyone for the whole student council thing. Hmm. There's only one kind of apology I'm willing to accept. Yeah, you want to go on a date with him. We know. How exciting. Yank your head off and smash it into the ground with all your strength. Got that? No way. I have never heard of such an intense form of apology. It seems like... Everything is settled for now. No, it's not. Not with me. Even though we're missing her. You alright? Himiko, that's me right now. Anything Gonta can do? You can tell Gonta. Hey! I think we should let her have some space for now. That might be the best for her. Okay. I remember how I felt. Oh. Oh. Gonta understand. Me too, Himiko. You're so dumb. <laughs> Himiko's such a liar. Huh? What? Because I'm a liar. Personally, I don't think lies are exactly a bad thing. Let's face it. You wouldn't have any free will if the world was compromised with just the truth. But... But even then, I don't think it's good to lie to yourself, you know? What are you lying about, Himiko? Right? What are you saying? Think about Himiko's feelings a little bit. Uh-uh. I only said this because I thought about it. Because? Himiko's been lying to herself about her own feelings. She's been holding back. Hey! Hey, what are you repressing? What are you trying so hard to hold back? Hold back? Himiko? Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So, if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better, too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger. Himiko? I'm, like, crying through all this. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. Of course. Oh, darling. Tinko, Angie, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely without you two. I gotta survive. I can't go to where you are. I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely without the both of you. <laughs> oh, dear. Himiko. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Himiko cried for a long time. She cried as if she was releasing all the emotions she had bottled up inside. Before we knew it, as if lured by her doing so, we began crying. Everyone. <coughs> T 
tears were shed. I can't even describe it. We were crying about what had been th we'd been through and what was to come. Sadness, hatred, frustration, discord, anger, love, tears filled with emotion. But at the very least, they weren't tears of submission. They were tears to push us forward. After a while, Himiko finally calmed down. However... Is she hard to carry, Gonta? This image is gonna make me cry even more! <laughs> no, she fine. She's sleeping very peacefully. Oh dear. She's all tuckered out after crying. Robots sleep well after leaking their oils too, right? I have told you many times that I do not use oil as my fuel source. But wow, that really surprised me. She passed out as soon as she stopped crying. Yeah, but she looks so peaceful sleeping like that. She probably felt better after letting it all out, don't you think? Yeah, I hope so. Then go to carry Himiko to her room. <laughs> Make sure you focus real good on your back, you hear me? You'll need that focus if you want to feel her little mosquito bites poking ya! Oh, God. There's no way he'd do such a thing. Gonta is a gentleman after all. Gonta's lovely. While we were heading back to the dorms, I suddenly noticed. Kaito had stopped in his tracks. You alright, Kaito? Hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. I just wanted to get some night air. Don't worry about me. Go ahead. Huh? You sure? Well... Anyway, don't do something like this again, okay? If you dislike scary things, you should have said so earlier. Thought you were sick. Huh. Are you worried about me? <sighs> yeah, worried about your stupidity. <laughs> huh? Still haven't warmed up to me, huh? But... Maybe not, but I feel like the walls we had up are coming down a little, you know? Perhaps those walls were her enemies. Seems like she doesn't want to wait anymore. Got it. Yeah, cause of me. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe, but you sound like you're bragging, Kaito. Huh. Like I said, I'm gonna go get some air before I go back. You can go on ahead. Okay. Sure. Got it. See you tomorrow. Got it. See you tomorrow. After I goodbyes, I returned to my dorm room. I didn't notice what was going on with Kaito. What do you mean? Oh. I don't think I can take any more. We're just gonna have to leave this, I think. Till the next one, I've been through a lot here. <laughs> I'm sorry if that angers anybody. But... I, I, I'm afraid that this is gonna be bad. And I'm... I'm, oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm just not ready. I'll see you soon.